はい森の宮邸でございますAnd I'm gonna drink my drink here. It's a sleepy time drink. It's um hard to find, but it's got <clears throat> some good shit in it. And I'm not gonna tell you what good shit it has in it because、uh, normally I would tell you, but because of one of the things I'm gonna talk about, I'm not. Because you know some stupid person's gonna try and abuse it. But it's good, and it helps me relax. And my phone needs to be charged. But all right, you said you said your spiel already. But ew, bring back the other chick's voice. Anyway, we're gonna continue where we left off. I got my sleepy drink, and I'm ready. And I keep forgetting I gotta. I was supposed to send a picture of the drink to somebody, and I keep remembering and then forgetting before I get it done. <laughs> This is how people think you don't care about them, but I really do. Just have like a distractible mind. Anyway, let's continue right where we left off in the Sea of Stars, Chapter X. X means ten in letters. I can't get over how bad this woman is. John, Cereza, the little one. This drink is so good. If only you knew what it was. Man, it's not lean. Don't worry. It's like a supplemental drink. It's good for you. Tentacle hentai. I'm ready. Is this when the game gets spicy? Tentacles. Why did it have to be tentacles? Because it, it's always tentacles. I'm pretty sure. Have you not seen things? One, two, three. All right. Remember to、uh, chop that, zip that. What's that? That's crack. Because my shit just turned off out of nowhere. Because I had to click on a stupid fucking antivirus thing, and I'm right in the thick of combat. It's fucking lovely. At least they're sexy babies. Do um do your like fist thing or something. Do your big stomp. Do something that's gonna help me. 
They're still attacking when I'm doing this slowdown thing and I don't fuck with it whatsoever. Alright. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. She's gonna try and get you with that Taki shit. Or who is that uh, character from Soul Calibur? Who has the whip? Is it Taki? Or it's like Ivy or something? It's the girl, it's like the one woman you shouldn't get involved with, but of course you would get involved with her. Because you like the danger. And you're a guy, so you think you're above the danger, and then it's just a woman. What the fuck is she gonna do? And then she kills you. I don't know why guys still don't think women are dangerous. Women are like the most dangerous things on the planet. That should be very evident with all the cases flying around nowadays. <laughs> Were you guys born stupid? Like, Don't you remember how your mom always knew what was up and she would get you fucked up if you didn't listen? You think that just was exclusive only to your mom? There are other moms out there, dude. Oh, we're going in the pits of heaven. But there might be secrets up here. Let me see. Oh, I fell. Never mind. Just right in it. Do torment attack. Rasengan Shuriken. I just got to that part in Naruto Shippuden, it was pretty hype. It didn't fly, <laughs> but uh, it was a cool move, instant kill. And I'm sure it'll fly at some point, I think I played a video game where it flew. So um, he just has to get older. He needs to have more friendship battles and he's cry about Sasuke a little bit more and then he'll get it. Is that something I wanted to do, or not do anything? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just gonna get right into the shits. I'm noticing a very disturbing trend that's starting. This started with um pretty much a nobody artist. I like her, but right now she's a nobody because most of the people who are popular on Instagram and TikTok are not popular actually in music, which is sad because it's so hard to fucking get your name out there nowadays. I s I've been going through music and there's like a ton of like really fucking dope people, like way too many for me to keep up with who have like hundreds of subscribers or like less than 5,000. And their music is like sick. If they would have made music, what year is it? 2024? If they would have made music 10 years ago at the level they're at, they would have been pretty big. They might not have been the best of the best because that's always like up in the air, but they would have been at like a decent level. Like a level with, you know, people on double XL freshman list when they were still like actually rapping like black hippie and wale and all of them asher roth who asher roth still in my opinion got done the dirtiest out of anyone in hip-hop because he came out with i love college and then nobody wanted to hear him rap anymore and he's one of the dopest rappers who have ever lived with so fuck you fans or fuck you non-fans i guess i should say I don't think there's anyone in hip hop who got done dirtier than Ash of it. Even to this day, he still has one of the illest flows that I've ever fucking heard. It makes no goddamn sense, dude. I love college and I love to party. And everybody's just like, I'm in college. Oh my god. He made this song like specifically for me. He's in college, I'm in college. It's great. And then he actually raps instead of just camp campfire tracks. 
And then everyone's like, oh god, he's changed. Success has changed him. <laughs> yeah, alright, bro. Whatever, you fucking whack ass person. But anyway, I've noticed a trend of like rappers specifically, and I'm gonna call you out. I'm I'm not really hating. I mean, I kind of am, but it's from a place of love and jokes. Mainly jokes, it's a little bit of love. Playboy Cardi just released a song called Ketamine. That's just a bad look, bro. Why the fuck would you do that? I mean, I don't like the mumble rap style and I went back to see if I, there were songs of his I did like and I do like his whole lot of red shit and I like his die lit shit I like that stuff it's pretty good for like mumble rap I listen to I fuck with that shit I don't fuck with any of the new shit but I'll tolerate it cause that's all I can do but to release a song called ketamine when you're a party rapper and you have young kids listening to you, dude, and you're in a fucking trap house. Like, this is the original trap house. Before the gangsters took it over and it was like a cool place. That's the original trap house shit that he was in. Because that's a drug den. That's the same place where the trap house is. Old school shit. And for you to put out a song called Ketamine, of you dancing around talking about, like, fucking her and she's shitting on the floor and your friends are fucking her are you fucking stupid dude do you know what ketamine is like <laughs> i've had friends that were on ketamine they got fucked up they're stealing shit from their good friends fucking bummed out like that's the most irresponsible shit you could have named it like just fuck you bitch or something or like dumb bitch or something like that i don't care but to name it after a drug that kids don't know and then they're going to look it up and then some of them are going to try it. You're fucking stupid, dude. You are fucking dumb. And that's all I'll say on that, man. Like, you could talk about the shit. Just don't fucking make it the focal point. And a couple rappers are doing that now. Like, right off of this fentanyl shit. You gonna bring ketamine back in the mix? Like you don't have enough rappers that you fucking appreciated that are dead off that shit? Like, hey, okay, let's find the next Juice World just so we could fuck them, overdose them into oblivion. That sounds like a good ass idea. How do I get on here? That's a long way to the other side. Uh, I mean, I've noticed that the punk rock shit is coming back. And you know with punk rock, it's going to be drugs. Like, drugs are going to come back. And we're going to find that good artist again that all of us love. And then guess what? They're going to fucking overdose and die. And then we're going to be back right where we were. Because we always have to be on the next cool drug. And I guess ketamine is going to be the next cool drug. Well, fuck you guys. Y'all are whack. Bring out that Frank Ocean t-shirt because you need to go sleep and mainly you need to go to rehab. I've done a lot of drugs, but shit. I'll try and make it look fucking... I'm not gonna name my song Ketamine. It's, <laughs> it's just not gonna have it. That's such a stupid thing to do, dude. I'm sure he's a fine person, but you get you get whack points for that, man. That's clown shit. And like the little artists, I can't blame them. I don't believe that some of the artists that I've heard talk about it are really on it or take it or do any of that. But for the bigger artists, I can I can blame you for sure, because you know better. You actually have to answer business calls, so I know you know better. Because you're still around after five years. I'd rather you talk about Nazis, honestly. Most people are just going to hate you and complain, but most likely no one's going to get hurt. Instead of talking about something that's going to have people killing themselves.
but I digress. This looks like, uh, what is it, Ghidorah? <laughs> or, uh, Gamora? So hey! Don't do that. Yo, this gun is so good. Why did <laughs> why would I ever need to use something else? I could just fucking ping you to death. I don't want to because it's this action game, but I will. If you put me in a corner, I will just shoot you to death. And then I'll make you explode because my fucking bullets are dope. I don't know what you're saying, Megatron. You better fucking speak into the mic. Oh shit! Oh, that wasn't the dodge I was going for. Can't let the sound effect be better than the dodge. Oh, you sad faced little baby man. Nope! That, okay. I don't know what that move was, but that shouldn't have happened. I'm gonna just jump over it. Fuck you. Oh, never mind. How do you dodge that? Leave me alone. You know what? I'm not sleepy enough. Let me take a drink first and I'm gonna get right back to you. It sounds like I, I'm drinking something bad, but I'm not. I promise I'm not. Looks like a chamomile mix. Oh, this is the easy one. I got you. Nope. Not gonna do it. Get away from me. Mm. dodged it. You didn't think it was going to happen, but it was. Now I'm just going to shoot you. I'm not even going to look at you because that's the disrespect right there. Ugh. What the fuck are you finna do? Miss again? You see the strut that I have going on? Okay. Now it's just embarrassing for you. Oh, wait. What's he doing? I don't know what he's doing, but dodge, yeah, dodge right into it. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. I said take this turn. You don't know where you're going. No, I was, I was wrong. <laughs> That's my fault. You shouldn't have trusted me with the fucking directions. I don't know why you always hand me your phone. I'm just going to select music, <laughs> and then I'm going to put the phone down. And I'm going to pick it up when I want to change the song. I don't, I don't even know what this map is used for. No, directions. Yeah, I got it. You could have told me that. 
They should have voices for these things. They do? Oh, I couldn't hear. I was selecting music. My bad. I'll get a license at some point. Whenever it comes in handy. Which it won't, because now people drive me places. They might say that I'm a broke boy for that, but... Dude, people are driving me places. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> How much are you paying for a gallon of gas? And you're telling me I'm broke boy? You realize they used to drive rich people places, right? And now I have them driving me places and you still want a car? Oh shit! What do you mean freedom? You drive to the motherfucking mall maybe once a month and the beach maybe once every two years. What kind of freedom do you have? You drive to go spend money. <laughs> don't, don't talk to me about a fucking car. You drive to go pick up your weed. I can have my weed delivered to me. You drive into the club? Are you a club promoter? No? You're just gonna spend 400 on a table? <laughs> okay. Talk to me about fucking... <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes, like, it's weird what I get made fun of for. I could drive. It's not that I can't drive. I just can't drive legally. And, you know, I'm not the blackest person, but that's pretty fucking black. If you need me to get you somewhere and you can't drive for whatever reason, you're having a baby, I'm going to get you to that goddamn hospital. I'm going to get you there safer than most people will. But legally, I'm not supposed to do that. And no, I don't have a, I don't have a car like that. Where would I drive to? I know my situation. I'm in the Bay Area. I live with my mommy still. And if I didn't live with my mom, I'd be living with roommates and I'd be doing stupid shit. Hey, can you pick me up for yada yada? Hey, can you go get this from the store? No, I can't do any of that. What about all the shit I do for you? Yeah, I'm really regretting all that shit that you did for me. Cause right now I just want to say fuck you. But nah, I'll do it. So anybody telling me about some car shit? Ah, uh, you better get your head back on. Because you're not <laughs> seeing things correctly. You know how information goes in your head through the top and then it gets spit, spat out the bottom? Or vice versa? I don't know which way it is. But yours is going the opposite direction. You're not getting any sort of translation with that. <laughs> Those optics. You gotta switch them out. That's some cyberpunk type of shit. <laughs> because you could have people driving Miss Daisy and you're still spending... $40 every week on gas. Yeah, so Uber's expensive. Well, that's what your friends with cars are for. <laughs> you Uber sometimes, and then you know other times. We got public transit. We have friends. You just make use of it, man. Hey, you want to help me paint this fence? And then you say, cool. Alright, well now that we're started, I'm going to take like a quick little breaky break. And then he's painting half of the fucking fence for you. You just make it a thing. That wasn't the way I was supposed to go, huh? Okay. Just falling through space. Yep, wrong way again. Nope! Not doing it. This should not be a part of the game. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Oh my god. Okay. Did it. Just into it. This must be like the last part of the game. So the angels are in space, huh? Oh, I can't. Oh, 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 and we're dead. You think this is what's on the dark side of the moon? Because I wouldn't be surprised. If on the dark side of the moon they were protecting the Ark of the Covenant, and that's why we can't find it on Earth. You pull me back on this? Oh, hey. Listen here. 
as soon as I know exactly which way to go, y'all are in trouble. Don't do that. I need to jump on your back. And I'm dead. And I'm dead. Yeah, the shadow, it's cast. Got it. Fucking went to that lecture a couple times already. Stop! Stop doing the things that you're doing! I'm not even supposed to be up here. This is just like a secret or something. Bayonetta, I'm... I didn't need this?! A piece of Moon Pearl. Gathering two will increase the limit of your magical power. I don't... Great. Fantastic. Bayonetta, Bayonetta, for the love of God, don't get hit by every single one. This isn't Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi. Just dodge the Hell Zone grenade, for the love of love. In case you are a baby and you didn't play Dragon Ball Z Budokai or Tenkaichi, Piccolo's Hell Zone grenade was probably one of the illest possible mo okay. moves you could do. I abused the fuck out of that. It was basically not dodgeable very well by someone who's just decent at the game. If you were good at the game, it wasn't that great because if you dodge most of them, it doesn't do that much damage. But for noobs, oh my god, dude. Hit those motherfuckers with every single one of them. The dead as doorknobs, the doornails, or whatever they say. You're gonna die again. Dodge! Get the camera where we need it, and we're dead. I'm... Fuck the pearl. I don't need that. I'm just gonna leave. My fucking god, camera angles. Get away from me. Bayonetta, what kind of gymnastics class did you go to? Thank you. Are these breakable? Are they going to turn into enemies? Let's try. How many kids did this move just so they could see her naked? <laughs> Don't come in, Mom. Don't come in. He sure likes playing Tomb Raider a lot. It's Tommy's favorite game. Ow! Bullets. One of these days, yep. Yeah. Knew it. I knew it was going to happen. I was ready for it. What happened to my... Uh... If they start me at that platform. No, it's not going down like that. I'm sorry. Fuck y'all.
That he okay. I think I finally understand why my friend, when we watch him play games, he would rub his eye when he would start to get frustrated. It's not like I'm going to see better. In fact, I'll probably only see worse, but, you know, you got to feel, I think it's about the feeling. Like, you just got to get close enough to almost gouge your eye out, but not do it. Like, some very sick means of control like I should just shove a fork through my eyeball and just end it but I won't do it like I, sh I should stop playing I don't even know why I play video games it's just a waste of time I'm just looking at fucking lights flashing on a screen what kind of waste of space am I I should be out living real life and just be visiting third world countries, helping the poor and building schools. But I'm doing this stupid shit. You fucking bird brain chickens. Can you not be on like EX mode? I'm afraid to get close to these guys because they just like don't give a fuck that I'm attacking them at all. They're just over here playing Mortal Kombat. EX Super! EX Super! Hit him with a fucking Oki! Guard cancel! Look at him! It's the fucking brawly frame rate. I don't even get slow time. I don't know what it's called. Witching hour? If it's not called witching hour, then they made a gigantic mistake in the naming process. But slow time's also just as good as of, <laughs> of a night. You can leave me alone. Any point. Gosh darn it, dude. There you go. What do you think about this, Ebony? Ivory's dead. Y'all bite. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe fucking not. Oh my god. I'm. <laughs> I need more sleepy drink. Mm-hmm. Yo. That shouldn't happen. Don't even give me the option of climax mode unless it's gonna kill him no matter what. And me pressing that button is just for looks because I never want to see some stupid ass shit like that again. Yeah, later after we kill these guys. 
What's the difference in my guns? I'm at the end of the fucking game, and I still don't know what the point of me having different guns is. Come on, come out of your stupid little super hole. Just coming up with new moves on the spot? Is that what you do now? Alright, it's his seventh spawn. Time to whip out that one move we haven't done the entire time. The underground fireball. This one will get him. As if every other move wasn't already destroying my fucking character. Alright. Mmm. Oh, that wasn't hard at all. Alright, you better die this time, homie. Bayonetta, please. Thank you. What is in my hand? Dude, why weren't you attacking? Did I have a weapon or something? Because whatever you were doing wasn't doing shit. You like how easy I'm making this look now? Honestly, don't know why it was so difficult. It's because I have my motherfucking internet connected. I'm I'm connecting this bullshit. It's like a bad luck charm. What happened to mommy? Well, you see, she just went to look for something. That's all. I can't believe that witch, placing a poor helpless child under her spell. If she did anything to this little girl's parents, I swear. <laughs> you dummy. Your face is dirty. No, no need to cry. We'll get you to your mom in no time. Uh, here, I've got some candy if you want. Why do you have that? It's candy. Strawberry, I think. Hey, Kitty, I've got some yummies. Would you like some? Would you like friend? some? Yes, he is. His name is Cheshire. He's cute, isn't he? That he is like the cutest doll I've ever seen. What a stupid name. Well, so much for taking the highway. It just means we're going to have to find something else. I think I already talked about this, but I have a shonen idea for that. All I have to figure out is what to do about you. I didn't. I for sure talked about it. So, Cerecita, that woman's really your mom? Uh-huh. My mommy is strong, and she protects me from scary monsters. Monsters? <laughs> I don't think you know who the real monsters are. I'm going to explain my shonen idea again because I think it's really cool. So basically, it involves kids, shonen kids, and they have dolls, dolls that look like that. Something happened to the parents? I don't know. I haven't written it yet because I don't know how to draw. So me writing a shonen story without knowing how to draw even though I could find an illustrator it doesn't really make any sense because I also don't know how to write but I have ideas sometimes and my idea is that kids have dolls like those and it's an extension of themselves their hopes their dreams their fears nightmares anxieties blah 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 and because kids have like the gosh darndest imaginations um, that basically, ow, is all you need to know, ow, about why I can come up with, I can use that excuse of a kid's imagination to come up with the coolest fucking characters. 
I think that would be cool to have a Shonen doll story. Because they've done ninjas, they've done pirates, they've done fucking spacemen. I don't know if they've done spacemen. Um, but they've done a lot of things. So to have kids dolls as like the main things fighting. I guess kind of like Zatch Bell, but Zatch Bell is a little bit dated and all the dolls were simplistic. With today's fucking animation, like on some Jujutsu Kaisen shit or some Fate Stay Night type of shit. Or um, One Punch Man. Like kids dolls, like when they get into battles with each other, those dolls just start to grow enormously. Like on that typical anime shit. If you watch anime, you know what I'm talking about. Just enormous growth out of nowhere into like an exaggerated version of what that doll looks like i think that's like the most pimp shit ever someone could make that for me um i wouldn't ask for any money though i would be tempted but i would love you because we're running out of shonen one piece is about to end my hero academia is about to end and my hero academia is the only real shonen that's out right now jujutsu kaisen doesn't count i've told you a thousand times and neither does Demon Slayer. They're too short to count. They're shown in anime, but they're not shown in shown in. If you can't go through multiple grades of like elementary to high school, it's not a shown in. No matter how much you ask, I'm not putting a chainsaw on your arm. So what do you want? Chains on your arm. But I think that's a pretty dope idea for a shonen in a world where they've pretty much done everything. It's not a new idea, but neither was ninjas or fucking pirates. Or curses. Or any of the other shonen ideas. So I mean I think my idea has some validity. Because the best shonen are simple. Heroes, ninjas, pirates, shinigami, curses. They don't get too complicated, if you notice that. Complication ends after you've been serialized for four years. Or starts. That's where complication starts. I don't know what the what the um, landscape should be. It could be on like some Dr. Stone shit. Like maybe something happened to all the parents and it's just the kids. Or maybe it's kids and parents. Or maybe, you know what? My kid's idea isn't good. Because if you make the kids too young in a shonen, then it doesn't really work. Because you're aiming for that sweet spot of like adolescence. So this would be... Something would happen, and then the old stuffed animals that these, like, teenagers have forgotten about come to life somehow. Not come to life, really, but kind of like Khan from Bleach. Like, something happens, and now these, like, young teenagers or middle schoolers or whatever. The middle schoolers are basically teenagers in Japan, anyway. Then they have to use them to fight. So that way I can give them an older look, and I can have more explainability as to why real life situations are happening. Because you can't have like a seven year old just running through the city, it makes no fucking sense. Where are your parents? But you can have a middle schooler who's only 12 or 16 running through the city. It makes perfect sense. There's a third one. And he got me. That's a pretty good idea, because then I could introduce everything. I could have a ninja, I could have a pirate, I could have a shinigami, I could have a blob of fucking ooze. It doesn't even matter, because I've just explained why all of my character designs are whatever I want them to be. Kind of like how One Piece at the end, the character designs are because Emu is a storyteller, and these are his kids' drawings that he's going to do. If I spoiled it for you, sorry. But, um... That's basically what it is. That's why all the characters in One Piece look different. 
And that's why everything is based off of history, because he's learning. He's going through the stages of learning. So it starts out simplistic, and then if you notice in One Piece, as the story grows, all of the concepts become more con- Ow! They become more complicated. He has the story story fruit. You didn't think that was going to happen, huh? Ow! Yo, can you imagine if I just spoiled <laughs> the 30 year journey of One Piece just out of the blue, like right before it ends? Yo, by the way, it's just because he has the story story fruit. And that's why he you have Buggy and Luffy doing the exact same things, just completely opposite. One's a stretchy man, the other is a chop-chop man, because he couldn't decide, and he decided to just pick both. He wanted to be the villain and the good guy at the same time. And Luffy and Buggy are going to show up at the end. Buggy's going to be the main antagonist. And they're going to have to fight for One Piece, which is who gets to decide the story next. Because this is the only devil fruit that passes on. Because he's the god of this world, and he won the last one. So Luffy and Buggy are going to have to fight with who gets to tell the story next. And then Luffy's going to win, of course. And then he's going to tell his own version of the story and have his own pirate era for his the future. Sorry, I spoiled it. My bad. Where, do, where am I supposed to go with this? Alright, jump. 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 Kick, jump. No? Nothing? Not happening? Is the dragon gone? What am I doing? Seeing the water? Where do. Am I supposed to ride the dragon? <laughs> Can you get out of your cat form and get on the dragon thing? Am I supposed to attack him? That's why the Celestial Dragons are helping Buggy. They've been helping Buggy the entire time because they want to keep this power for themselves. They don't want to allow someone else to write the story. That's why all of this has been happening. They don't want a void century where people know Morty. Did I do it? Can I get on top of the platform now?
Why do you think the five elders are named after planets? Why do you think the sun pirates were slaves? It all makes sense, Morty. Shit at you. Yeah, that took way longer than it needed to. Are you telling me that I didn't even need to? What's this? Kick off the wall and jump again. Yo, I'm so happy that they had a, a dialogue line for that because I would have been here for an extra 30 minutes trying to figure out how to do that. I might still, but I mean. Yep, probably will. Maybe I won't. I did it. What do you, how do you think One Piece is going to end? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think that Emu is the controller of the world, but he's really just a kid who has the most powerful One Piece fruit? The story story fruit? And do you think that Buggy is the secret antagonist of the whole thing because he's mirroring Luffy's every move? My, ch my guess would be yes. I mean, how else do you explain the fact that as we get closer to the ending, Luffy is dealing with things that are becoming more and more adult, like instead of random clown people, since he hasn't seen Buggy in a while, or Thriller Bark. He's dealing with motherhood and fatherhood and electric sky gods and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's too late for me to be on here. Thank God. I was losing it. Okay. So I think with that perfectly eloquently layered theory on how One Piece is ending. I'm going to call it a night because I have to go to work tomorrow and I shouldn't have been up this late anyway. It's past my bedtime. So I'm going to leave it there. And uh, without any further ado, no, I bid you adieu. And until next time, you dig. Yeah. Bye. Bye.